These are the top stories of the week. Intel's newest toys, self-driving Uber cars are coming, and everything else you need to know. Intel held its Intel Developers Forum. First up is Project Alloy, an all-in-one virtual reality headset. It is completely wireless, and Intel will open source Project Alloy in 2017. The company also showed off Kabi Lake, its next-generation processor coming in the fall. Kabi Lake is supposed to be able to handle gaming and 4K video editing as well. That's a really tall order. Intel will also license tech from processor rival ARM. Intel's first client for ARM chips will be LG. SpaceX's Falcon 9 multi-stage rocket put a satellite into orbit. The first stage flew itself back to an offshore drone ship. SpaceX is 6 for 11 in successful booster recoveries. The plan is to relaunch a previously launched first stage later this year. Bloomberg reports Uber will test self-driving cars this month in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Riders will be assigned a self-driving Volvo XC90 SUV at random. Don't worry, an Uber engineer will be behind the wheel to take over as necessary. Lots more to know, let's go rapid fire. Ford announced it will mass produce autonomous cars by the year 2021. These cars would not require a driver at all. KGI predicts that Apple will introduce a 10.5 inch iPad in 2017 and an iPad with a flexible screen in 2018. And Cisco announced it will cut up to 5,500 jobs worldwide. Want to know more? It's all at CNET.com.